Hey there guys and welcome back to Lost Planet Extreme Condition. We're still crawling up the volcano in our little spider-esque walker thing. Fighting off huge bugs along the way. And they just don't seem to leave me alone. And I don't think I can go up there actually. For another scorpion thing. Let's see, what do we have? I have the laser cannon and... I think that was a rocket launcher or something along those lines. But, yeah. I don't think I can actually go through here. And this thing is supposed to have some kind of drills, but I have no clue what they're for. I don't... Ha I haven't run into anything that supposedly makes use of them. Oh, crap. Okay, and actually held up surprisingly well. But I think I've been here before, and that's probably not where I need to be going. Oh, here's my previous tank thingy, I think. Alright, so where do I go? Don't think this thing's lava proof, and I'm not really willing to take a chance with it. Whoa, crap, no! Jeez. I was gonna slide off to the lava there for a minute. Alright, did I get the scorpion? Nope, it's just faking to be dead. Just like your girlfriend. Also faking it. Yeah. Alright, tank mode, and let's roll. Even though I have no clue where to. Uh, maybe drill through this? Nope. Uh, where's the health beacon when I need it? Are there like any of those uh, beacon things nearby? Okay, maybe the walker can climb up this. No, not even the walker. Fine, we'll just walk. Uh, you know what? I actually believe this thing also has jump rockets. So, just in case I need to be using them. Alright, first get these things out of my way. Maybe this is where we need to go. Yes, jump rockets. Alright, maybe that way I can get up here. I can also hover painfully slowly. Uh, that actually kind of looks like an entrance to something. But we also have this up here. Oh, there's a beacon. Maybe I can use that to get a clue of where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Alright. Boosters. And there we go. Alright, let's hop out. And work our magic on that thing and see where the hell I'm supposed to go. Because it's kind of confusing. Alright, beacon, get me some thermal energy and tell me where to go. That way. But I don't think there's anything there. It is pointing in that direction, but... You know what, let's just drive down the highway here and see where it takes us. Nowhere, really. Oh, crap. Well, that was a surprisingly flimsy car. Yeah, I don't think I can hover all the way over there. That's not going to work. Nope, definitely do not want to be going there. This is so confusing. Crap. Oh, that was not a good idea. Uh, right, here's another beacon. Maybe I can use that. Maybe it'll... No, the first one didn't really make things clear, so let's try a second opinion. That one points me up there. That's completely different from the other beacon. Okay, I am even more confused now. So, that beacon tells me to go up there. And the other one told me to go, basically, to the mountains to the uh, west. Or is that the west? Oh, we have a compass on the minimap thingy in the top right. I actually think that may be the east. And this walker is completely trashed. Why the hell am I using this thing? Alright, so let's try going up here again. I don't know why. But I'm just doing it for the hell of it. Come on, jump jets. Here we go. Oh yeah, now I remember, I think, because this is the thingamajiggy the beacon was pointing to. See that door there? That may be it. 
But just in case, let's consult this beacon here. Maybe this one will give me the definitive directions. Hopefully. So come on, power it up. And... Well, it seems to confirm what the other beacon was saying, so I guess we just go there. Get in thingy. Yeah, danger, I know it's about to blow up, but there's no enemies around, so I don't care. I'm coming for ya. Time to ram down that door. Oh, we don't even need to ram it down, that's lame. So, what, mission over? Or do we just get a, yeah, we just get a mid-mission cutscene. <sighs> You're freeing me? What's the meaning of this? A deal. If you agree to guide us to the Volcano Dome, then we agree to free you, so long as you stay within the trailer. You want to know the route to the Volcano Dome? Yeah, the quickest one. You know it, right? You got a deal. Luca, show our new friend of the cabin. Wayne? I have to talk to Basil. Go on ahead. All right. See you later. I have a question. That's... A present from my father. Who was your father? Gail Holden. Gail saved me after I came under Acrid attack. And that's when you received the Harmonizer? Yes. It was developed at the same time as the Frontier Project. Gale didn't trust Nevek, so he performed the operation behind their backs. We never figured out exactly what caused him to lose faith, but my husband and I both trusted Gale and agreed to the operation. In the end, my husband died along with Gale because of Solotov's backstabbing. Are you positive he betrayed you? Yes. Solotov was the only one that knew the location of the Frontier Project facility. I'm sure Gale mentioned that, too. I wonder, was the information about Ivan Solotov just another Nevek lie? Why do you think that? Just a hunch. It looks like we need to do a little more investigation into this. Your Harmonizer. It feels like the key to something important, but... But... Well, it was frozen without thermal energy for 30 years. That had a terrible effect on its operating ability. I'm so sorry to interrupt your pleasant chat. Joe found us a route. Whenever you're ready, we can head out. Come in, please. <laughs> Hold on. What was that about 30 years? Gale's death. It's been 30 years. I first came to this world 10 years before that. What? What are you talking about? The power to delay the aging process. I was buried under a mountain of ice for 30 years before Yuri found me. It's time for us to go our separate ways. Basil. Thank you. Whoa, there's a shocker. Wayne has been frozen in ice for 30 years. So, while he may look like someone in his, I don't know, early 20s, maybe still like 17 or something, he is actually close to 50 years old, probably. So, yeah. Basically, the story keeps pulling all these weird things out of its ass all the time. It's like... After every mission, or even in the middle of every mission, like, Oh, hey, here's a new character! With questionable influence to the story. And here's something you didn't know about one of the existing characters, which really isn't that relevant or does not make that much sense. But it's there anyway. And this walker looks kind of weird. You can jump freaking high, though. Like a kangaroo. It's an Australian walker. Crocky. 
Ah, crap. Those two look a bit more heavily armed and armored than the one I'm using. One of them even has double laser cannons, which completely wreck my thing. Just look at how much damage that did. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Better play it evasively here, or I'm not gonna win this. Ooh. Although the shotgun is pretty damn lethal at close range. Like a shotgun supposed to be. Alright, go get the puddle of thermal energy because it's kind of low for some reason. Yes, I had a huge stash of thermal energy before I did the whole cutscene thing. And once the cutscene's over, all of that is gone and you start out with the regular thousand again. That freaking blows. Like the shotgun blows away that cover. Nice. Gotta hurt being blown up by a shotgun the size of a small car. Anyways, there's a little beacon here, so I guess that'll tell me where to go. Maybe give me some thermal energy in the process, which I can always use, and more rocket ammo. That's always a good thing. I just hope this beacon isn't one of those vague ones again, which points in the complete opposite direction. Okay, down there. But that walker, I really don't want to be going down there, and crap, I think it saw me. Yep. Oh, it definitely saw me. What the hell is that? Fucking curving laser? Whoa. Apparently it's homing in on me and swerving around obstacles. And I think I just... Oh, what, I knocked it into the lava? That doesn't even work. Okay, so VSs are apparently immune to lava. Will they be when I'm driving one? Probably not. Because enemies are always immune to the things you take damage from, for some reason. Alright, let's just get in this thing. Maybe this will give me a bit more of a surviving chance against that other VS. So, kangaroo jump! Oh crap, there's another one up there. Should have thought things through, but that one is down. Probably can't use it after, though. Oh crud. No, 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 and I'm kind of too far away for the shotgun to be effective. Okay, you can blow the VS up, I don't care. I'm getting the hell out of it. Here. Ouch. Crap, 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 no. Okay, at least that missed. But damn, those rockets leave big ass explosions. Like my little rocket launcher is nothing compared to that. Eat this. Wait, did my rocket just collide with the other rocket in midair? Awesome. Even though it's not helping out my cause at all. Come on, eat this. Did I. No, I didn't get him. Oh, come on. How big of a blast radius does that thing have? No, 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 no. Uh, that went surprisingly well. I think I got him. Alright, problem solved. More rocket ammo. And more machine gun ammo. Nice. My favorite weapons. Alright, blow that up. Get some thermal energy, which... I'm not really that low of, but it's better to have a huge supply in advance. You really don't want to play any chances with that. Because it's kind of vital, you know. What do we have here? Plasma gun. Screw that. I ain't gonna use weapons that deplete my thermal energy. Like, all the energy weapons deplete your thermal energy when you fire them. So usually they are pretty decently powerful, but they come at a price. And I'm not willing to pay that price. So, let's just see where this takes me. I have no clue which way the beacon was pointing, but... I guess this is as good as, as, good as any way to go. Or we could go up here using the handy dandy grappling hook, because here's some enemies to shoot. And usually, if there is enemies, or are enemies on a certain path, it is usually the path you're supposed to follow. Because why would a game developer waste time and resources putting enemies on a path that you're not supposed to be following. Unless they want to play tricks on you. Which some developers are not completely above. And a lot of Gatling gun and all kinds of... Oh, this is the homing laser. That must be what that one VS was using. Sadly, this VS cannot use any of those weapons because it's stuck using the ones already on it. But hey, a VS is a VS, can be picky. So where the hell do I go with this thing? 
Those things look blow upable. Is that a word? I don't think it is. But who cares? Tank mode. Room. Okay, I am pretty sure now those drills do not do anything. They're just there for show. Or maybe they're like helpful against enemies or something, but they sure as hell don't do jack shit to the scenery, that's for sure. Okay, let's just slowly walk somewhere. Maybe get up on these things. Nice. That's a pretty freaking solid shipping container. So, where do I go? I am once again completely at a loss. I don't think that door is destructible. Destroyable. Whatever the hell the proper word is, you know what I'm talking about. And... Uh, okay, it's raining fireballs from the sky. That's not a good thing. Even though I'm sure it's only for show. <sighs> I'm just gonna leave the VS there because that VS kinda sucked anyway. It's moving too slow. We really don't... Wait. I think there was a VS there by the truck, but I completely must have missed it when I was recording this. I'm so stupid sometimes. And grappling hook has too short range. It's not long enough. That's what she said. Yeah. Oh, well, this one looks like it could still be operational. Let's see, Gatling gun, shotgun, and wings. So I think this one can fly or hover pretty well. And rocket dash. What the? Okay, that dash is really weird. Like, if you hold the button, it does not extend it. It just... There's this short dash, which I can't really see being useful. Because you pretty much grind to a complete halt at the end of it. So you get more Gatling gun. Another Gatling gun. Laser rifle, homing laser. Well, let's try the homing laser. Yeah, that's that thing, alright. But do I really want that one? Well, I guess I could make use of it. Alright, let's jump over the truck and fly. Maybe using this thing, I can actually get up on that piece of highway up there. Even though it doesn't seem to be able to fly up. I mean, sure, it goes up on the first jump, but then it only seems to be able to go forward and back and left and right. Only horizontal movement, no vertical. Crap. Okay, then. The beacon is still pointing for down there. Wait, maybe that door, or that tunnel over there, maybe that's where I'm supposed to be going. So, let's see. Is that... I think there's another beacon around here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Maybe that'll give me the definitive location where I need to go. Okay, now what? There was nothing there. I just saw it. Uh, where did that thing come from? And why is it blowing me up? Uh... And it's not even giving me the opportunity to get in my VS and blow the crud out of it. Alright. Time to kick some ass. Eat homing laser, sucker. Uh. Where did my homing laser... Oh, well, of course. It has to fly up first. But it can because it's gonna collide with the bridge over me. Ah, great. Useless weapon, alright. Just have to make you with one Gatling gun. Luckily, that thing does not really have much in the way of offenses, either. Oh crap. Tank mode. It's trying to use the drills on me, so I guess those maybe are for combat. But it's dead now, so I don't care anymore. Alright. Pretty sure that it's the tunnel we're supposed to go to, but let's just activate this thing. Did I just see something moving there? Or are my eyes playing tricks on me again? Anyways, we will check it out next week in the next episode of Lost Planet Extreme Condition. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.